Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's good, people? How are you guys doing? Um, so Zechi, aka Seji Slim, aka EZ. Uh, you know, for a while now, it's two years, over two years now since I uh, last saw my children. Um, and it's been a very difficult time very difficult time and you know not a day has passed that these children are on my mind um, that my two boys my two sons aren't on my mind um, my children's mum despite what she would tell has told my children um, created this situation for her own personal agenda um, and learned how to play the system and use the system to work for her. Um, I just want people, I just want any men who are watching this video and also any parents, any woman who are going through a similar situation to listen to my words. Sorry about that noise. I think it's uh, the workmen, really annoying sound. Um, yeah, so, you know, for a long time now, things have been very difficult and I've been quite down. Um, but I thought of something today. No. The last time that I saw my sons, um, the last two times, but especially the last time that I saw my sons, uh, it was at a contact centre. And... That last visit with my sons, we had a great time. You know, we played PlayStation, we we uh, talked. After, when both kids left, they told me that they loved me, they gave me a hug. Uh, and I remember how happy the boys were. Uh, and today, I thought about that moment, and it reminded me of something. You know, within that, there was a revelation today. Um, and that revelation is that I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I've been blessed to know my children and to have the opportunity to raise my children on, on my own for five years. And no matter what their mother does, she can't take that away. She can't take away the fact that I'm their dad. She can't take away the fact that my children know me. And she can't take away the fact that a bond was built. Um, my children love me, and I know they love me. Uh, and in fact, all the professionals that have worked with those children have also stated that. And that's something that she can't take away. You know, um, I'm blessed to have developed a relationship with those boys. Um, and do you know what? I can now put up, thinking back and reflecting on that, I'm not the perfect dad. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's a perfect parent. But nobody can say that I didn't try. And nobody can say that I didn't put my children first. Um, even in any mistakes that I made, I can openly, openly say that I put my children first. I didn't do anything bad by taking my children on full time when their mother wasn't being on point. Uh, and the history is there. There's enough people who saw what was happening with the children's mom or who know the both of us to know why I had the kids full time. So I didn't do anything bad by stepping up as a parent because that's our role, our responsibility as parents. And you know what? Regardless of what my children's mum wants to go and say to my children or feed my children or whatever negative thing she wants to tell them or whatever way she wants to man mentally manipulate them, <sighs> nobody in their right mind who knows me or knows of when the children lived with me can turn around and say that I didn't do my best. I did my best. And uh, 
I know that only one of the children's parents can say that, and that's me. It's not me being a big head or throwing shots. Uh, so what I will say is, if you do know your children, if you do have a bond with your children, I know it's going to be difficult, but all you can do now is uh, keep yourself together and do your best to be okay for when your children come to find you. Uh, because the truth will always come out. Your children at some point will seek to know the truth. The other parent can manipulate them. They can tell them this, that about, you know, your dad's a wicked man or your mum's a horrible person. They can tell them all of those things. But eventually those children can find out the truth for themselves or to find, to seek a version of the truth for themselves. Um, and you know, all you can do is do your best all you can do is be the best person you can be. Don't lie to your kids. Don't manipulate them. Don't uh, do things for your own agenda. Put your children first and do the best you can. And do the best you can to keep things together and to progress in life. You know, uh, you know I can sit back and I say to myself, I can sit back and say to myself, do you know what? I know where my children's mum's actions have come from. They come from a place of bitterness and hatred. Uh, they don't come from a place that's for the best of those children, for my children. Uh, and, and my sons are aware that their mother doesn't like me because they've said it. They've said it to me uh, separately at separate times. Uh, I will say that, do you know what? Although there has been times where the children's mum has caused me great pain, I don't hate her. You know, I'm I'm beyond that. Uh, I'm beyond that. And you know what? I know that I'm better than that. I'm better than investing my energy into hating people. Uh, I just love my kids. Um, and if somebody... If somebody wants to focus on hatred and getting people back or, you know, taking revenge, then let that be on them, you know. Life has not been easy. Uh, but I can turn around and say I've done my best. And nobody can ever change that. And this situation that has been created where my children have to deal with things that a child shouldn't have to deal with mentally, I didn't cause that. I'm not the one that caused this. So all I can do is pray for my children, which I'm praying, and set up things for them in the future. Uh, and all you can do is be strong. Be as strong as you can. You know, people around you are going to say, keep your head up, all the cliches. But, you know, that's all they can do. So, you know, try to be as encouraged as you can be. And hopefully things will get better uh, and you will be reunited with your children. Um, don't be the person who seeks to manipulate those children or turn them against the other parent. You don't have to do that. Just be the person who's positive and who wants to do good things for those kids. Um, so, you know, be encouraged, people. Children need fathers, children need mothers, children need both their parents. Uh, I, w I will say this, I will finish by saying this, you know, somebody told me that I should keep quiet and not post any videos. Anything that's done by myself is received negatively by the mother. I'm going to finish this by saying... As human beings, we should never have to stay silent about injustice and things that aren't true. We should never have to stay silent about injustice and lies and deceit because it's wrong. If all the dads in the world are to keep quiet about the injustice of uh, mother stopping them from seeing their kids. 
this will continue. What is happening will continue. So at some point, some of us will have to speak up. You know. Um, <laughs> you know, and children, a child who is living in an environment where the parent is totally negative about the other parent, at some point deserves the right, at some point deserves the chance to hear the other parent's perspective. And also to hear the truth. I can wholeheartedly say that I've never manipulated my children to say anything. So, I'm okay. I'm alright. And... I pray that my children will be okay long term. I, uh, pray for your children wherever you can. And even if you're not a religious a f- person of faith, wish positive things, do positive things for your children, if you, even if you don't have access. Stay encouraged, folks. Stay encouraged. Everything's going to be okay. God bless your crossing socks. Peace out.